So someone is out here saying that under all circumstances, right, nobody has a valid... If you don't know what's going on, guys, I'm reacting to Pegasus's video because, well, I already did a gameplay and I just thought, huh, why don't I try reacting? So this is my reacting video. If it sucks, it sucks because I haven't reacted to anything before, so... And to ever hate their parents. And I'm just sat there like, are, are you kidding me? Like, not everybody was gifted with the greatest parents on planet Earth who just really want you to succeed and, you know, support you and care for you. I mean, fun fact, like, some parents are absolutely awful. I really don't know why this is actually a debate at all. I feel like some people forget that parents aren't another species on planet Earth. Like, it's not like when you get married, instantly they're, they're no longer human. Parents are humans, and they are just regular people who decided to frick each other one day, right? They're, they're not, like, special. It's like, just because they're parents, it's like, magically, they're suddenly immune from all criticism because, oh yeah, you owe everything to your parents, right? Because they created you. Like, sure, they did, but if they absolutely made your life hell, they abused you in a variety of ways, and they actively halted your progress in life and really damaged you, and if they're just making you feel awful, I'm sorry, you are allowed to hate your parents. And obviously, don't get me wrong, I know there are bad kids as well, there are spoil, spoiled kids who, like, they have really great parents, but they don't value them at all, and that really sucks, but... As this is commercial, well, stop right here. Totally agree. Who doesn't? Um, because bad parents exist, I'm fortunate enough to have great and awesome parents, but uh, to those kids who don't have those parents, you are just being a tall jerk. So, the person who posted that, do yourself a favor and shut up. Thank you. Real-time voice changer for gamers and content creators. <laughs> but simultaneously the flip side also exists. So let's not pretend that it doesn't. So here's one of these people, right? And he says, people who hate their parents. If you were homeless and starving, who would you call and know you wouldn't be turned down food and shelter? If you break your limbs, who take care of your dumb, ungrateful ass? Who's the one who gave you a kidney? Yeah, so shut up. First off, um, there's some parents who literally kick out their children, so they- Hmm. Are you, uh, not counting the parents who kick out their children, okay. Go shut up. Probably be the ones that are making them homeless, and in that case, obviously you wouldn't call the parents, you'd probably call like, maybe your close friends or someone you can actually trust, because believe it or not, Sometimes, you can trust your friends more than your parents. I'm very grateful for my parents, and I'm definitely one of the lucky ones who got blessed with wonderful parents, but I know that people out there aren't as lucky, and I'm not gonna shame them for it. If you break all your limbs, who'd take care of your dumb, ungrateful ass? Again, again, they're just kind of assuming that your parents actually care about you, which is not a guarantee. Who's the one who'd give you- Are you serious? This one, who gave you a kidney? Yeah, maybe sometimes um, the abusive ones would break your kidney. Just a thought. Kidney, dude. There, there's some people out here who would let you die. <laughs> like they would, they would value their lives above yours. And then just the cherry on top, the condescending ending, just telling you to shut up. Imagine being like a 12 year old girl, and you're getting like inappropriately touched by your uh, deluded dad. And then, up. and then you, 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 you go to your like friends and say how much you hate your dad. And then they're like, you're ungrateful. Like, bruh. It's kind of like the same thing with mothers, right? You, you have to love your mom because your mom cares about you. She loves you. Like, no, that's not all always the case. Can we stop generalizing? You gotta realize that like a mother is not a special person. It's just a female who tricked someone and got pregnant and then had a baby. How does that make them any different? I mean, I mean, sure, majority of- Yeah, I mean, I could be a father and uh, okay. If I become a father, does that make me immortal to um, bad choices? It, so if I hit my son, that would make me a good person, correct? No, it wouldn't. I can't believe you guys are generalizing this. You, you idiots. Now, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. 
I mean, I'm saying it's wrong, but I'm not saying, like, you guys saying your opinion is bad. It's just how you guys say it. Have a nice conversation with someone. See a therapist. Gosh. I'm sorry, I, I, I'd like to think are great people, but... Hey, you! Hey! Hey, you! Don't you want to play something different? Bring it up! But, you know, um, th there's bad eggs out there. So he continues by saying, My friends are my family. Yeah, try asking for a kidney when you're dying and see how many friends you have left. Most people wouldn't even give you blood. This is some dumb teenage psyop sh I swear to God. Listen, I'm getting really tired of hearing these stupid takes, but I, I will entertain this one, okay? Um, I, I will admit that it is quite rare, and generally, like, family comes first, right, before anyone else, because, but that's just because, you know, you grew up with them your entire life, you spend the most amount of time with them. Naturally, the person you spend the most amount of time with is the person who cares the most about you, right? Those are obviously the people you form the closest bonds with, and naturally, that's why they'll care about you. I will admit, in general, most people outside of your family won't care about you, but there are circumstances where your friends do become really good friends, and they practically become family more than your actual family. Like, if they are the ones bringing you joy on a day-to-day -day basis and taking care of you, listening to your problems, helping you in your times of need more than your family, then they are more family than family. That's perfectly fine to say. Just having a blood relation doesn't mean anything. I really do feel like this guy is just kind of basing stuff off of his own experiences. Like, what, what, if, what if you see a guy whose dad didn't give him a kidney, but Ryan, his friend, did, then who's more family then, right? It, it, it's such a bad take. So he continues by saying, your parents are human too. Your father and mother are made of flesh and blood, just like you. You can't... Oh my. Yes. And... Oh, you can't express them to be perfect. There's a difference between being perfect and abusive. Abusive is when you hit a child. And, um... I mean, just not, not being perfect and abusive. Um, not being perfect is where you'll make mistakes, but there are bad eggs out there. You will know, numb nut. Gosh. And that's not... Oh, and don't get me started on overprotective parents. Please, shut yourself up. Expect them to be perfect. Are you perfect? Then why do you expect them to be? Look at all the replies. It's all anime soy boys and women with visible daddy issues. I can't even make this up. You weirdos need to get over this weird victim mentality. Lift some weights and become proper men. Okay, now it's all coming out, right? He started with a terrible take. And now he's devolving further and further. It, it always starts like, they give you a little glimpse of their true character and then it slowly comes out, right? All the cartoons and escapism and being bisexual and trans or whatever ain't it. What? <laughs> this is absolutely... Please. Shut yourself up. Or I'll shut you up myself. Because I don't even need to argue anymore. This guy just proved that it is tapes are absolute dog sh Like, I don't want to get more mad than required because I, I, I feel like I expend too much energy getting mad at stupid people. But, like, uh, suddenly, like, uh, the, the issue was talking about family, right? And if parents are good or bad. And then he devolves into... Our, uh, cartoons are bad and escapism is bad and watching this YouTube video is probably bad because it's some sort of escapism to you, right? And then being bisexual and trans, like, what? Where did that even come from? You know, some things I've learned is, is things just kind of line up in life, right? Obviously, the guy with the terrible take is also a homophobe. I get that bad things happen to you and you don't like it, but that's not an excuse to be whatever you are. Okay, now he's just dehumanizing people, which is just, bruh, come on. And then he continues his absolutely terrible rant, dude. To all the cartoon people calling me privileged, I'm superior to you cartoon people in every way. Fellas, we are all cartoon people. I don't even know what that means. What? I'm a straight young man pursuing my vision as God intended. Privilege? Maybe. Does that mean you can't fix your mental problems? No. Stop making excuses and turn the cartoons off. Did this guy just say that being bisexual is like living in a cartoon world? Dude, are you, 
oh my god, this guy's an actual joke. Imagine invalidating all the people who have terrible parents and telling them to suck it up. Imagine saying, just fix your mental problems, bro. Stop living in a cartoon world. Imagine thinking you can change being bi or something as if it's like an on and off switch. And most of all, imagine thinking you are superior to anyone else with this absolute bottom tier, Mariana Trench mental core, six trillion feet underground rocket level booster tier dog poop mixed with actual <laughs> human poop tier garbage cake, dude. Holy moly. Listen. <laughs> voice mod is Tell the me. number one real time voice change. Okay. I have a comment to say. <laughs> I am sorry. And content creators. Listen, I wasn't really. See? That guy on Twitter needs to shut up and and do something else because he could have offended like so many people. Like, okay, you just talk about bad take. Like, I was like, okay, this is just a day day moron, and then you attacked another group. I'm like, ah 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 ah, nothing to see here. Wait. Oh. That the parents thing because I was like, oh, he's just narrow minded. He he hasn't seen bad parents before. But now with all these garbage takes, like one after another, like he's straight up cuckoo, dude. He's like the type of guy to tell someone who's depressed, like, no, he's not cuckoo, Pegasus. He is stupid. A horrible person. So he's just the worst person on earth. But of course, of course. Oh, I know what he's gonna say next. He's gonna say. I know what he's gonna say. He's gonna be straight up Onisi on prison. Just be happy, bro. Get out of your stupid cartoon world. You don't have any problems, bro. These are the types of people who actually infuriate me, dude. Absolute clowns. I checked some bios, and it looks like most of the cartoon people are 14 to 16 years old. Go home, kids. Your parents love you and want the best for you. I know you want to be rebels at your age, but hating your father ain't it. And you're too young to be talking about sexuality. So a couple people reply to this guy pretty much just telling him how stupid he is. Some people hate their parents because they made them homeless. Some people hate their parents because they beat them and broke their limbs. Like, it's not just about being perfect. Some parents are genuinely harmful, but considering that would require critical thinking. Okay, listen, I, I know that a lot of people are going to have, like, conflicting emotions about this. Like, I'm not going to say, go ahead and nitpick everything your parents do and just get mad at them about the smallest of things. What I'm saying is, chances are your parents are perfectly fine and you should probably appreciate them. But if they aren't and you were dealt a bad hand, like, you, you just spawned with terrible parents... Don't let these psychos tell you that you can't be mad at them and that your struggles mean nothing because they are your parents and you have to love them. Immediately you can see the type of people okay. who say that. That guy is stupid. Not not Pegasus. Oh no. no stupid. Um. We'll react to another video right now. But Stupid people need to stop being stupid. I'm a bag of... Sweets. Yeah. Onision. Let's talk about Onision. Alright, welcome back, everybody. So no. 300 for that and 2000 for this way too expensive but today i'm going to show you guys how to get all this stuff for a lot cheaper okay so first go to one of your favorite gaming websites select the products you want then click the honey browser extension i got my money <laughs> boom literally money saved in one click so click here on the left side to start saving money on your favorite gaming products and pretty much anything else you can buy online and honey today for free by clicking on the left side or by visiting joinhoney.com all right, welcome back, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Um, we're talking about PETA and Thanksgiving today. So hmm. it's a well-known fact that nobody likes PETA. By they the are... way, had a fairly nice time. A complete joke, and 
they do like way more harm to animals than any other organization I can think of and you know they preach the opposite right in fact they always go way too far with their preaching as well and they shame you for your choices and your lifestyle they're always tweeting about how they want you to stop doing this stop doing that and they always make you feel like absolute trash for just being a regular human being eating some chicken right just the fact that you've eaten a McDonald's one time in your entire life makes you absolute scum in their eyes I mean you've probably seen them in like a thousand controversies by now because they just can't keep their mouth shut right I swear to god it is it, this constant uh, that's a that's a lot of people that can't keep their mouth shut so I'm not really surprised at this point and, and yapping and yapping they can't shut up but you know today's topic is specific to thanksgiving right so PETA made a tweet about thanksgiving i mean obviously it's like the prime opportunity for them the entire premise of the festival is eating a giant turkey uh, with your family right i mean that's not the premise the premise is like history and all that jazz and being thankful for the harvest and i don't know being thankful in general but yeah eating a turkey with their family is like common tradition right that's what a lot of people do the so PETA was obviously like i can't believe these people are eating animals it's not it's not like animals eat animals I, I can't believe this um i must prevent this uh, imagine you were the turkey and um the phrasing of this tweet oh my god it, it's this mm, gorgeous so peter tweets out think about trading places Ooh, you know i would actually like to trade places <laughs> just kidding <sighs> the turkey this thanksgiving imagine if you were the one being stuffed for a thanksgiving dinner okay now um the innocent ones in the audience that no it feel like you know is i don't think i want to imagine that being dumb right they're making a tweet about the turkey being eaten but um, if you don't know the alternative meaning of getting stuffed, you, you may not understand the overwhelming response that this tweet got and the fact that people are just memeing the hell out of it. So I recently found out that um, getting stuffed also means getting fricked, all right? Here we have Urban Dictionary, and it says, getting stuffed is another term for having the frick frick. I was late for work because I was at home getting stuffed. I don't think that's a valid reason for being late for work, but you do you, Urban Dictionary. So yeah, pretty much it was like a really poor choice of words uh, i mean the tweet is stupid already and you can probably make fun of that in itself but just the fact that they use this wording um people just went in completely i just said went in of course of course yeah, I, okay i understand your your troubles Peta. it's pretty hard dude i'm not even doing that intentionally <laughs> holy and obviously the fact that PETA gets like thousands of likes, they do have thousands of supporters, right? So there are some people who replied, turkeys are very intelligent animals who can appreciate music. They are not food. They deserve to live happily and free just like humans. That's right, guys. Turkeys can appreciate music. I mean, I I've never heard of a human appreciating music. In fact, I think we should- Wait. Uh, so, if I'm turkey, he would dance to music, correct? My gosh. I can have a turkey and you dance offs together. It's the rolls. The turkey should eat us, right? This is so dumb. I feel like it has to be a meme, but uh, I I know these crazy sort of vegan type of people do exist. I mean, you you've seen my videos on them. They're, they're straight up nuts. So somebody replied, just completely shutting this person down, saying turkeys are literally one of the stupidest birds. They climb trees and forget how to climb down. Wait, mom. Before you check out. <laughs> Do you have honey installed? What's honey? Oh, no, no, no. We have a very serious problem. I don't... Uh, we have a serious problem. Yeah. You're interrupting. And just jump and kind of neck themselves. For imagine climbing a tree and... <laughs> oh, my God. Dude. 
I mean, I'm sorry, Turkey, that if at that point you just deserve to get eaten. Okay, listen, I'm not heartless, okay? I do care about animals, but I will not stand by and watch someone, like, shame me for my decisions or... And, I mean, I haven't even eaten a turkey ever, so uh, I don't know why I'm talking as if I'm doing this, but I wouldn't let people shame other people, okay? You know what's pretty weird? I've, ne I've never seen PETA shame a lion for eating a deer. Why, why don't you go tell the lion that... You know, um, it's pretty bad, man. I don't know, they, they can appreciate music. That's kind of like saying don't kill an ant because it's a very hard worker. Like, do I care? Like, go work hard somewhere else. Like, I'm, if you're next to me, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not taking any chances of you crawling in any of my holes, okay? I, I, you're, you're, you're out of here, okay? I, I, I need to sleep at night. If somebody went and posted, like, this copy pasta, um, I, I don't know where this came from, and it makes me quite uncomfortable but I'll read it out anyways. Let's say, hypothetically, you, you tied me up and stuffed me in the dinner table. And let's say, theoretically, you spanked me too and made me a good boy. In fact, statistically, I would be asking to be raw dog by PETA. What is wrong with the internet now, dude? I, the the show has even got me questioning life. I think the re- What is the internet's problem? Oh my gosh. I'm kind of mad at PETA about this is because, like, not that I celebrate Thanksgiving, I, I don't even celebrate it, so, like, why should I even care? I've never eaten a turkey either, but, um, I just remember watching this really awesome episode of Thanksgiving on regular show. So if you follow me on Twitter, you would notice that my profile picture or my icon is Muscle Man, right? He's a character from the regular show, and he's pretty funny. And that's not like a random choice that I randomly put there because he looks kind of funny. It's because I, I really like the regular show, right? It's genuinely one of the funniest cartoons out there, and I highly recommend it if you haven't watched anything. It's like really short episodes, and they're pretty funny, and they're very weird. It's anything but regular. So there's this one particular episode about Thanksgiving, right? And they're battling this super rich billionaire trying to ruin Thanksgiving, and they go through so much stuff to try and save it, to, to save the festival, and make sure their family have a great time and they battle this like billionaire on a blimp and they have to make like a hit song that everybody loves about thanksgiving and it's super touching and awesome and it was genuinely like one of my favorite episodes ever and that's why I, I do think Thanksgiving is pretty cool. Just that episode, like, had a great message. And I know that's a pretty stupid reason, like, oh, you, you like a festival because of a random cartoon. But now that I think about it, everything I do is kind of based on really stupid stuff. Like, even my channel name is because of certain characters in an anime, right? So, like, when, when I started my channel, there's three things that I was re-watching. I was watching Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh!, and Beyblade. I don't want to have, like, a Pokemon name because... Pokemon was like my number one thing that I enjoyed, so I don't want to have a Pokemon name because uh, I thought people would think I'm a Pokemon channel, so I wanted like a cool name but also related to something I enjoyed, so I based it on Yu-Gi-Oh! and Beyblade. The main character in Yu-Gi-Oh! is um, a, a villain named Maximilian Pegasus, and in Beyblade, you probably know Jenga Hagane, who's, you know, the main character of uh, Beyblade, and, and his Beyblade is called Galaxy Pegasus, right? So that, that's pretty much what my channel is based on. I know it's really stupid just basing it on random stuff like that. It's not really meaningful, but it was meaningful to me. I got a lot of enjoyment out of those shows. And I really like the concept of just being like thankful for whatever you have. And <laughs> people around you because that's a very scarce concept nowadays. And just like, I, I, I'm not saying like be thankful for whatever happened um, in the last year because, you know, we had the greatest freaking crisis ever in a long time and that absolutely sucks and a lot of people suffered. But I'm still thankful that we're still um, here to live another day, right? As, as the clone trooper, which clone trooper said that? I don't know, but he, he said something about we live another day, okay? Or maybe it was a Jedi, I don't even remember. Actually, I'm pretty sure it was a Jedi, but whatever. You know what? We're still here. We're still having fun. Maybe we're surrounded by people we love. And General Skywalker. Should be thankful for that. And maybe we're not, but at least, you, should, you know, you're watching this video. And hopefully, at least right now, you're having a good time. And that's my only hope, honestly, right? Because it does really mean a lot that you guys enjoy my videos and I can slightly make your day a bit better. Anyways, I had no idea what Thanksgiving was about, so I just looked it up. So it says Thanksgiving is the annual national holiday in the United States and Canada, celebrating the harvest and other blessings of the past year. Americans generally believe that their Thanksgiving is modeled on a 16 
1621 Harvest Feast by the English colonists. The American holiday is particularly rich in legend and symbolism, and the traditional fare of the Thanksgiving meal typically includes turkey, bread stuffing, potatoes, cranberries, and pumpkin pie. I think none of this is appealing at all except maybe potatoes or bread stuffing, but whatever, um, it seems okay. Here's like a picture or a painting, I think, which is pretty cool. So yeah, PETA, you suck, and nobody is grateful for you at all. No, literally nobody cares about you. And some people dream about getting stuffed every night, so you know that maybe that's not really anything new. Anyways, in conclusion, um, happy Thanksgiving. I'm very grateful for all of you guys watching and supporting me all the time. The very sweet comments and tweets I get genuinely make me feel awesome every day and I, I did say in like my International Men's Day video that I, I don't get complimented which was true but it was before I was a YouTuber okay don't don't worry you don't need to feel sad or whatever you guys are super sweet now so I'm really lucky to have you thank you so much for watching stay awesome um eat some delicious food and yeah happy Thanksgiving uh, uh